Hey everybody, this is Whistlekick Martial Arts Radio. My name is Jeremy Lesniak. I'm your host, I'm the founder at Whistlekick, and I'm a martial artist. That was probably obvious. Those of you that have listened to the show know that to be true, but hey, we might have some new folks coming in, and I want to get that out of the way. This is episode 197, and we're going to talk about why your journey in the martial arts should not be compared to anyone else's journey in the martial arts. Not now, not ever. I'd like to encourage you to visit whistlekick.com because that's the hub online for everything that we've got going on. Too much to name. We sell stuff. We, you know, we've got gear and apparel. We've got martialartscalendar.com. We've got martialartsmemes.com. We've got half a dozen other projects that we're working on. They're in various stages because I'm someone that can't leave things alone. If I see something that could be improved, I try to improve it. That's how I was taught in the martial arts, and I bring that philosophy to this business. Thank you for your time today. Thanks for tuning in. One more thing I want to let you know about. Episode 200 is coming up. That's right. This is episode 197, which means we're a week and a half out for episode 200. It's going to be on June 26th. That's a Monday. If you're used to firing up your podcast feed on Monday morning and seeing a brand new episode, a brand new interview... You're not going to see that Monday morning because it's not going to be until 8 p.m. on Monday, June 26th, that we'll be recording episode 200. Two firsts for this, actually almost two firsts. The first first is that this episode, episode 200, is going to be live. The second almost first is that it's going to be video. We'll be broadcasting, it looks like, with YouTube Live and Facebook Live. We will record it for later. It'll be released as an audio, as a video, all kinds of options. So check it out next week, next Thursday, episode 199. I'm going to talk about what's going on with that episode, how you can be a part of it. And of course, it'll be more than just self-promotional. There'll be some good stuff in there. So stay tuned, check that out. And if you're on Facebook, check out the Facebook event on the Whistlekick Facebook page. Excuse me. That'll clue you into everything that we've got going on. There will be more and more stuff added and updated as we get closer because we're still finalizing a lot of details there. Lately, I'm seeing a lot on social media about people comparing their martial arts journeys to other people's martial arts journeys. And I got to be honest, I don't like it. I don't like it because I think it's very contrary to what martial arts is about. Martial arts, after all, is a personal journey. And in most cases, we tend to value that progress that happens over skill level. You can see that in a lot of different ways. When you look at competition, is everybody thrown into the same division? No, no, because we recognize that you tend to progress at different levels, different belts. If you're in a school that uses belts, most of them do. We're not throwing in yellow belts with black belts because we know that a black belt has more skill. Now we're also not doing it based on time. If all that mattered was how much you knew, we would throw people in based on their time, but we don't do that. Nor should we be comparing any aspect of what's going on, because different people progress in different ways. I think we can all agree, hopefully we can all agree, that martial arts is about being more than just skilled. It's about more than your ability to punch or kick or block or jump or spin or flip or whatever it is, whatever the physical attributes are. We recognize that there is a mental and spiritual and emotional, psychological, sometimes component components that matter. And it's important that we recognize that. I would say most of us do. On this show, we talk about martial arts as being a journey. We don't always use that word. But when we talk about our definition of martial arts, personal development through the lens, guise, perspective of hand-to-hand combat. What are those first two words in there? Personal development. When we think about martial art as the, the grammatical construct, it is a martial type of art. Art. When we think about any other art, the artists that we value, whether they're musicians or painters or anybody, really, we tend to talk about their growth as an artist. And a martial artist can be expected to grow over time. Not all of them grow. Not all of them 
grow at the same pace. In fact, we all grow at a slightly different pace. And that's good because there aren't a whole lot of other places in the world, in our lives that are available to us that we can grow at the speed that is comfortable for us. Not everybody's comfortable with rapid growth. Some people want to grow faster than a snail's pace. Sometimes what we want is the opposite of what we get. But the fact remains that we have that option available to us. And that's critical. It is one of the things about martial arts that makes it so valuable. It's one of the reasons that I am so passionate about it and why I have dedicated all but the very first few years of my life to it and now to spreading it. We share a lot of stories on social media, whether it's martial arts stories or non, with people that are growing, they're progressing, people that have, say, lost a lot of weight or persevered despite some crazy adversity. We tend to resonate with those stories. We value them. When we watch any movie, we see that the characters have to overcome something. We see that in literature. We see that in television. We value people that move forwards in their life, that they they get past whatever the, the crap is that they're dealing with. It's one of the questions we ask just about every interview, every Monday show. Tell us about a time in your life that was difficult and how your martial arts training helped you get past it. And that's an important question. That's a question that honestly, for me, is one of my favorites because it allows the guest to talk about something that sucked, something that was negative, and their martial arts kind of diffuses it. It allows them to grow. As human beings, we learn from our mistakes. We improve because of adversity. You don't create a sharp knife with moderate temperatures and light pressure. No, you have to heat the blade. You have to grind the blade. That's a lot of pressure and temperature. There's a lot of force exerted, a lot of energy put in to make a knife sharp. And people are the exact same way. Despite all of that, I still see a lot of people judging themselves and others about their journey in the martial arts. Frankly, I don't see as much of it with people judging others. People will judge skill. I mean, we we know we've got trolls. I mean, there's, there are a lot of us in our community, unfortunately. And it's kind of the times that we live in. People like to bring others down. It makes them feel better. It's, you know, online cyberbullying and whatever whatever you want to call it. It's there. That part doesn't bother me so much. I will rail against it and I will take anyone to task that feels that that is okay. The part that bothers me much more, though, is people comparing their journey to others. My journey is not the same as your journey is not the same as any other person listening. We have a lot of people that listen to this show now, and not one of you have the same journey as others. Some of us may have started at the same time, but we started with different instructors. We had different parents, different upbringings, different things happening inside and outside class. We all know that the people we train with have a tremendous impact on our progress. To look at what you've done and try to compare it to someone else is to forget about all of the nearly infinite number of ways that your training is affected by the other things in your life, many of which, maybe even most of which, are outside your control. I have a good friend who spent some time as a life coach, therapist, sort of guy, and and I did quite a few sessions with him. And one of the things that he was fond of telling me, as I would sit there on his couch chair and, and tell him, you know, how I was trying to make this thing happen or that thing happen, or I was disappointed that this didn't turn out that way. He would just kind of look at me and say, you're where you are where you're supposed to be. And that's really always stuck with me because it, it ties in so closely with what's going on in martial arts. We go to class, we dedicate some time, we dedicate some energy and we progress. Somehow, what we need tends to come from martial arts. If we look closely at what's in front of us, the lesson is there. Maybe the lesson is to try harder, to show up more. Maybe the lesson is to back off and let that injury heal. There are a ton of lessons, an infinite number of lessons that can be learned. 
and martial arts makes all of them available to us. Because of that, it's unfair that you look at your status, whether that be rank or skill or health as it relates to martial arts, and look at someone else and think, I should be, or I would be, or I could be. It's, it's those three phrases that I think get me the most. I would be a such and such rank if I hadn't taken that time off. Or I should be this rank, or I should be standing in first place at, in that tournament line. It doesn't matter. Because the things that you gave up or changed or did differently than that other person, you needed those things. Whatever it was in your life at that time, you needed that. Now, maybe you did something that you regret doing, so you've learned a lesson. You've learned what's important to you. Maybe, excuse me, you needed to take care of your family or go back to school or nurse an injury. There's tons of stuff. Stop comparing yourself. Compare yourself to who you were yesterday or the day before or the year before or 10 years before. I don't care how far back you have to go. Recognize that you are progressing. You are moving forward. Honestly, the deeper you get into martial arts, the better your skill, the less there is to compare to you, your earlier self to show your forward progress. Sometimes you have to look at other things. I'm a better person now than I was a couple years ago because of martial arts. Has my skill improved? Yeah. A lot? No. I've been training for a bunch of years. I'm happy to train. I love training. But for me, the biggest opportunities for growth in my life as an individual have nothing to do with my physical training right now. I look at other people who honestly have less time in and higher rank. And I look at them and I will freely admit there is a part of me that is jealous. And that's hard to admit. That's really hard to admit publicly. Then I take a step back and I say, all right, look, when I take that belt off, regardless of what belt it is, who it's from, what rank it represents, I'm still me. I'm still the person that's dedicated myself I'm still the person that has grown and continues to grow. Not all of us start from the same point. Not all of us are headed in the same direction. To assume that we're on the same path and that we can judge ourselves by the standard that someone else sets is just foolish. It doesn't serve you. Try to let it go. In a time when so much of the world is divided, and we have media and people trying to polarize everything, every decision, every subject. We as martial artists, as a martial arts community, have an opportunity to be a, a beacon, a, an example. Focus on what's important. Recognize that we have more in common with each other than we do separate. Set the example for the rest of the world about what a good person is. That's a lot of why people bring themselves, bring their children to martial arts. Let's embody that. Let's embrace that. Something we need to do. Something the world needs from us. Thanks for listening today. I appreciate your time. I appreciate you listening to my thoughts on this episode and every other episode. I hope you'll tune in again. If you want to check out everything we've got going on, that's at whistlekick.com. If you want to check out the show notes, for any of the other 196 episodes, I'll be honest, show notes on this one are going to be kind of light. Eventually, we will have a transcript. We, yes, we are going back and transcribing every single episode. It's going to be a lot of work, but we've heard some feedback. People want that, so we're doing it. I don't know when the first one's going to roll out. Take some time, as you might imagine. Whistlekickmartialartsradio.com, whistlekick.com, at whistlekick on social media. We're all over the place. If you want to get a hold of us, there's a form on any of the websites, or you can email me, jeremy at whistlekick.com. That'll come right to my inbox. Thanks for your time. Until next time, train hard, smile, and have a great day.